welcome to a, another video. Today I wanted to share with you the collaboration with Dita Von Teese and Wheels and Doll Baby for her cardigan collection. Wheels and Doll Baby is um, out of Australia and they've recently, within like the last year or so, they have closed down their main business but they're still doing collaborations with Dita. Now, I was kind of late to the party, unfortunately. I had no idea about these until a couple years ago when I started getting into the pinup scene. And I wish I had discovered them sooner because the colors that they put out before, like the baby blue and the baby pink and the, um, like the maroon, I wish that I would have jumped on the bandwagon sooner because those are gorgeous. I found some on eBay and stuff, but they are pretty pricey, not gonna lie. So unfortunately, um, I had to skip out on those. Hopefully I can find one maybe later on that's going to be a little bit more reasonable because I've noticed that they do hike up the price quite a bit. So the box, it usually comes in this box right here. And then it just has a photograph on the back. It's just like on the side. I really like these boxes because they keep everything protected and neat and I can store them easily on the top of my closet. My very first one was the black on black. It still has the roses and everything. And I got this in a size 14 because uh, I did look at the size chart and I thought it would be okay. When I got it and I tried it on, it was a little tight um, just through kind of like the shoulders and the arms, arm area. I thought about exchanging for a different size, but I would have to pay international shipping and that probably would have been an arm and a leg, so I just decided to keep it. The tag on here on the back, you may notice that I have some tape over this because it itches. Every time I wear this one and because it's so close to my neck and, and kind of tight fitting, label itches me. So I've just kind of had to put something over it. That way I don't itch anymore. I don't want to take the label off necessarily. Uh, because someday they may be worth like a collector's item. All of them have like this kind of button and kind of silk on the ends. They are pretty like more heavier fabric I'd say. Um, in the winter you would definitely want to wear something over it like a coat or a, another jacket but in the fall i think it is perfect another thing is that when you first get it the buttons and so like it comes buttoned up already um, in the package but these buttons right here when you first get them they're kind of stiff and hard to work with once you have worn it a couple of times they become more easier and malleable to work with so it's just like the first couple of times that it's just kind of a little rough. Next one I got is my favorite color. I knew I had to get it and it is the lavender colorway. And then it has the roses on the back as well. The same on the sleeves. This is the one that I wear most often um, just because I love the color and just how the black looks on the lavender and everything. This one I actually got in a 16, so I learned my lesson and I sized up. It was a lot better. The tag doesn't itch me anymore 
and it just feels a lot more comfortable, more easier to, to move around in. <laughs> from last year's uh, colorway and they had two options they had the blue with the black roses and then they had the black with the blue roses it was kind of in between but since I already have a black one I decided that um, I just wanted the blue one with the black roses on it and it's a gorgeous like royal blue and it just goes perfectly with my skin tone and my hair and I just love the color. So funny story about this one is that this is when the main um, Wheels and Doll Baby Company decided to close down their main business. I wasn't really sure how it was gonna play out. They sent me like a confirmation email and everything and they said that when it was going to be ship, shipped, that they would send me an email. Well, I never got that email. I did get an email from UPS though, and they said that I had a package. And I was like, what? Because I totally forgot about it. I totally forgot that it was coming, that I ordered it. It confused me. It threw me off guard for a second. I asked everybody. I asked Hector. I um, maybe thought his boss at the time had something sent to us. They all said no, so I was like, what the hell? <laughs> like, I don't know where this is coming from. I don't remember ordering anything. I went to UPS and I asked the lady, I was like, look, I know this is a really strange question, but can I open the box and see what it is? And if it's not mine, then you can send it back. And she said yes, and she agreed and opened the box and surprise, surprise, it was, it was the sweater. <laughs> days ago the new colorway for 2018 it had the um, black on black one again but since I already have it I obviously went for the other option I knew I had to have this and it was a birthday present um, from Hector so that was really nice of him to do that Something that I did want to mention about this though is when I put it on it was a lot more stretchy than the previous ones. That was kind of interesting. I probably could have gotten away with a 14 on this one, but I've just been ordering my regular size, the 16, since it's been working out for me um, with the other ones. Yeah, this one's a little bit different and it feels kind of more softer uh, than the other ones and a little bit more lighter. I did wear this with my leather jacket the other day. I just paired it with this um, basic black leather jacket and it seemed to be pretty warm enough because <clears throat> um, it was kind of windy. So um, when in doubt, if you feel just a little bit more chilly, you can always add on another jacket to that and it gives kind of like the layered effect. With this one, um, I did get a confirmation email but the same thing happened with the as the blue one i basically um just waited for ups to send me the email and since i pretty much knew now from the time before um i was like okay cool that i know i know what it is now it did state in the confirmation email that it was going to ship around mid-november but what i mean by a shipping email was that i never got a tracking number and it never told me like when it was going to arrive here in the states also something that i noticed when i ordered this one was that during the checkout process you had an option of either having it packaged just plain or with the box the box was a little bit more i paid a little bit extra for the box <laughs> them 
comes with an extra button. I love the artwork on the tag. Like, look how cute that is. I can't wait to see what other colorways that she has coming next. I hope that she brings back some of the older colors that some of us, like myself, have missed out on. I just love wearing them to work, just out. Like if I feel like I wanna dress up, you can dress it up or down. You could wear it with a skirt or jeans. I often just wear it with jeans, like when I'm going out somewhere. They're very versatile. You can pretty much do whatever you want or do it however you want. And like I said, like you can even layer it, especially like with a jacket, a different jacket and you don't even have to have it open like this. I do, just because, um, so you can see my tattoo a little bit, but you can always just button it up if, you know, if you're wearing it to the office and you want it a little bit more work appropriate, or you can have it open like this, it's just kind of up to you, and you can adjust the bow. For me, I keep repurchasing them because they are of high quality. There's just a lot of different colors that you can play around with. I am very pleased with all the ones that I have gotten. Um, the first one was my mistake <laughs> for getting the wrong size. I've always had a pretty good experience. Um, nothing really has happened except for last year. Uh, that's pretty much the only incident that I have encountered. Other than that, they are very comfortable and durable. So I think it's well worth the price. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.